There's an old saying in trading that says, sell in May and go away. And well, this year, I've been doing that to the fullest. Luckily, thanks to Spotify for podcasters, I can record, edit, schedule, and distribute my episodes everywhere from wherever I'm at using either my phone or my computer. Also, video podcasts are available as well in case I ever want to share the views with you guys as I hop around the country. So if you're interested in starting a podcast and perhaps you're worried about all the complicated background stuff, put those worries aside because with Spotify for podcasters, it's now easier than ever to get started. By the way, you know what else is easy? Monetizing your show as they literally do all the work for you. So head over to www.spotify.com slash podcasters to get started today or simply download the Spotify for Podcasters app. It costs you nothing, which brings me to another saying I enjoy. If it's free, it's for me. Hey guys, Akil Stokes here. Welcome back to the Trading Coach Podcast. Finally, this is the episode that I've been waiting for since we started this podcast. Why? Well, because if you know anything about me, I am a sports nerd. It says it in all the social media handles. And today, I get to do a podcast about sports. Now, it's going to relate to trading as well, but it it does include two of my favorite things, which are trading slash investing in the financial markets and sports. And the news came out today. You're probably hearing this podcast. What I'm recording this on a Wednesday. So it won't probably won't come out to a Friday. But the news came out today that Lionel Messi, aka the goat, the greatest of all time, is coming to MLS. I know many of you guys aren't sports fans out there, but think about it like this, right? Lionel Messi should be a household name, but he is arguably the best soccer player. Ever. He has kind of solidified that title with his World Cup victory this past year. And he's getting up there in age, but he's still a very quality player. And kind of the, the headlines that have been circling around and the rumors over the last kind of few weeks, months or so, is that he wasn't going to re-sign with PSG, which is his home club. And he is either going to go to Saudi Arabia, which is where Cristiano Ronaldo went and make like billions of dollars, Or there's this slim chance he could have went to MLS now, which is Major League Soccer, the the soccer league that we have here in the United States. Now, the MLS rumors have been around for years and years and years, but this is the time where the rumbling has kind of got a little bit louder. Now, you may ask yourself, how does this relate to investments? Well, Investments aren't just the financial markets, right? You can invest in a lot of things. You can invest in a stock. You can invest in yourself. You can invest in a business. You can invest in someone else's future, right? Many of the actions that we take on a regular basis are actually investing in other people, right? If you give someone motivation and confidence and like, hey, I believe in you, right? You are investing in them because one day they may get to a certain level and they may remember, hey, you were the only one that kind of gave me motivation while I was down and I'm going to lend a helping hand to you and help you back up, right? A lot of things are investments. At least that's the way my mind thinks. Everything is kind of based on the long term. How are my actions today affecting my potential actions in the future, results in the future? And that could be money, it could be relationships, it could be whatever. And something that I was always taught at the beginning of my investment journey was, Akil, use common sense, right? Apologies for that. Phone is on. Don't overthink things. Just use common sense. And in fact, my dad just texted me about Messi right now. He's super excited. He kind of, he's new to the soccer thing. So he just found out who Messi was this past year. And he's like, this little guy is amazing. I'm like, yes, yes, he is father. Um, so he's texting me right now about tickets. And that's really the subject that I wanted to talk about in today's episode of the Trading Coach Podcast, because buying tickets was an investment that people have made people could have made. I didn't personally do it in this instance, but I did it in another sports instance in the past, right? So let me take you some years back before we get into the messy thing, right? The team that I support in basketball is called the 76ers. And we're famous for this thing called the process where we were bad on purpose for many, 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 many years in hopes of getting that superstar LeBron James type player and becoming good. And while we were bad in this dumpster fire, just pathetic basketball, 
ticket sales were cheap. Season ticket sales were cheap. And I remember me and my buddy talking about the idea of like, hey, we believe in this process, right? We, we are investors. This thing is going to turn around. There is a plan. We should get our hands on season tickets while they're cheap. That way, once the team gets good, we can resell them for higher cost, right? And that worked very, very well. The Sixers have gotten, they've gotten good over the years. They haven't been championship good, but they've been close, but ticket prices have exploded. And I was looking at the messy tickets today and tickets that, let's say, they're up like, there's are different reports out right now, but they're up like thousands of percents across the board, right? So for example, right? There was a, a match right now, and I'm looking at the ticket news as it's moving real time. A match right now that costs maybe 30 bucks for a ticket is now worth $459. There's another match that was 30 bucks for a ticket. Now worth $512. A, a match that was $81, now worth $612, $13, $14. is going up right now, $15. And this is an investment strategy, guys, because look at this. This is no different than what we do on the market, right? You are betting on something, you're taking something with a low price, investing in it in hopes that the future price is going to become higher based on whatever, uh, you know, whatever elements that is. And if you're someone that's been paying attention to the messy news and you, you're hearing these rumblings and there's a chance, again, I don't think MLS was the favorite at all, but there was a chance. And of course you have the money to spend, why not make the investment in either a bulk of tickets at a certain location or multiple tickets in multiple locations across MLS for when Inter Miami plays? And that's the team that Messi's going to. Now, worst case scenario, Messi doesn't come. You have these cheap $30 tickets. You can either go to some games if you like it, or you can probably resell them for cheap. Or, you know, what I would do is I donate them to a kid, right? Find a local soccer program, donate it to the program and say, hey, you know, send your team for free. I, I kind of believe in that type of stuff. But it's, it's not a pure loss. There, there's no way that you can go into the negative. It, you know, the, the money has already been spent. You can either find something to do with it or, you know, do something else with it. But in the back of your mind, there is this slim chance that Messi may come. And if he does come, you can predict a skyrocket in price. Why? Well, common sense. Most popular, popular player in the world, the U.S. is an emerging soccer country, so a lot of us are kind of late to the party where we have never gotten a chance to see Messi play live, right? So, and, and knowing he's at the end of his career, right, you're not going to see prime Messi for too many years. There are only limited chances to see him again. There goes that supply and demand, right? There's little supply, so massive demand. So what do you think is going to happen if this deal goes through? everyone is going to rush to try to get a ticket either to see him or because they're thinking like me and saying this could be a really good investment. I was going to do the same thing with there's a friendly match where Chelsea was going to come to Philadelphia this year and uh, Christian Pulisic, he's not a Philadelphia native, but he's a, a local guy relative to where it's at, was going to do the same thing and buy that investment. But you hear that Christian Pulisic is probably going to get transferred out of there. There's uh, two tournaments for the U.S. as well, so he probably won't be playing. But same type of concept there. The point is, investing is more than just the financial markets. Investing, you, you can make a really good career investing in, in stuff like this. You can make a really good career investing in other stuff like that. The fact is, if you use your brain and just put two and two together, you could be a good investor. And the secret is, you don't need this Ivy League degree. You don't need this this uh, this proper school training or anything like that to involve yourself in the financial market. All you need is common sense, right? I just put out a podcast. I think maybe this one may be replacing it. I don't know. Or I think I just put out one talking about AI stocks. It's the same thing. So I say this because I, I get approached by so many people that are afraid to become investors because they they overcomplicate themselves or overcomplicate what it means. They, they don't think they're good enough. They don't think they're prepared. And if my story in the market, because I had no formal education, I was someone that just was thrown into it and found my way through the sludge. If, if my story means anything to anyone or if I want it to mean anything to anyone, I want it to mean that hey, someone with limited education, someone with zero confidence, someone that 
isn't supposed to be involved in these financial markets, if someone like me can find a way to navigate through it and make it, so can you. So start thinking about that. I'm not saying go out and buy messy tickets right now because they are sky high. We're up to 650 right now for that one I was just looking at. But start looking at the world differently. Instead of just looking at products in the store or things on the news as just kind of what they are, start looking at them as investment opportunities. And if you consistently do that on a regular basis, you're gonna be a lot more comfortable when it's your time to finally enter the markets. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I hope it didn't bore you to death. I love sports. I don't know if you guys love sports, but it's my podcast. And I'm gonna take one episode to talk about the things that I want to talk about. By the way, if you ever have topics that you want to discuss, feel free to hit me up on social media at Akil Stokes RTM. Shoot me a DM, shoot me a message, tweet at me, whatever it is, and I will try my best to give you podcast episodes based on what you guys want to hear.